Welcome to The Undercurrent, your source for grassroots news. I'm Lauren Windsor. In this episode, we'll talk about the activists who are shaking things up at the Supreme Court, what Obama can do to get money out of politics, and my complaint to the FEC against Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. April 2nd marked the one-year anniversary of the McCutcheon decision, which eliminated the aggregate cap on federal campaign contributions that an individual can make in one election cycle. Pre-McCutcheon, that limit was $123,200. Huffington Post noted last year that nearly 650 donors hit that cap in the 2012 election cycle. Now, there's no limit. On the eve of the anniversary, the Campaign Finance Reform and Civil Disobedience Advocacy Group 99 Rise disrupted the proceedings of the Supreme Court to call attention to the problem of money in politics. This is the third such protest organized by 99 Rise in the last year and a half. And as you'll hear in the video, Chief Justice John Roberts was not amused. Justices, is it not your job to ensure a free fair election? Anyone else interested in talking will be admonished that the authority of this court to punish such disturbances by criminal contempt. We who believe uh, in freedom shall not rest. On the actual anniversary, the Money Out Voters in Coalition, including groups like Common Cause, People for the American Way, Public Citizen, and many others, gathered in front of the White House to deliver a petition to President Obama asking him to take action. But with a gridlocked Congress, what exactly are these groups asking for? For an executive order requiring federal contractors to disclose their political campaign contributions. We're saying, Mr. President, we stand with you and your values, and today we want you to stand with us and move forward on an executive order so that we understand and we know without question that when you go to bid on a government contract, it's because you deserve the contract, because you show merit, because you just show that you have a diverse workforce, because because you believe in our values and not because you have the biggest checkbook. We've contributed over 50,000 petition signatures uh, to the fi over 500,000 peti uh, petition signatures that are here today. To let the president know that there are average citizens out here today around the country that support this action. Don't forget the post office is yours, it's ours belongs to the people, serves every address in this country, 153 million addresses every day, no matter who we are, no matter our economic uh, status, no matter where we live. But that's under threat from the corporations that want a piece of the $68 billion that the post office generates without taxpayer money every year. So we say follow the money, and you'll find those that want to, from Wall Street, and Congress who want to privatize and dismantle this wonderful treasure. For my part, I filed a complaint with the FEC against Mitch McConnell, the number one adversary of campaign finance reform. You'll recall that last summer I broke several hours of audio from the Koch brothers retreat and that Mitch McConnell had some interesting words to say about the worst day in his political career. At the end, Senator McConnell said, according to the transcript released from the meeting, that the worst day in his 30-year political life was the day that the McCain-Feingold bill was signed into law. Now, for those of you who don't even remember it, because the Supreme Court's virtually gutted its impact, McCain-Feingold was a bipartisan bill designed to limit campaign contributions in size and to eliminate, insofar as was possible, secrecy in campaign contributions so we'd all have to fess up. And if somebody was trying to get to us, at least we know who was paying for it. Seems reasonable, doesn't it? How could you think that's the worst thing that ever happened? Only if you thought the best thing that could ever happen was if the Koch brothers and others could run black bag operations in every state in the country and spend all this money driving people crazy and getting them to stop thinking and never be found out. 
As part of that investigation, I examined FEC, Senate ethics, and Senate office expenditure filings, and it appears that McConnell did not report his trip to the Koch donor conference in violation of campaign finance disclosure requirements. Bottom line, Washington has a Koch problem. Every election brings new special interest spending highs, with politicians seeking out bigger and bigger hits from billionaire donors. The conservatives on the Supreme Court enable this junky behavior by continuing to dismantle campaign finance regulations. Help DC kick the Koch habit and get involved with 99 Rise and the Money Out Voters In Coalition. Please subscribe for more on the ground, independent political reporting. I'm Lauren Windsor. Thanks for watching. Get pulled in to the undercurrent.